This week, uh, we're going to cover a group of birds that's really close to, uh, to my heart. Um, woodpeckers. Um, woodpeckers are amazing birds. They come in all shapes and sizes here in Saskatchewan. And you can see a lot of the different species um, all throughout the province. So you can uh, see the same type of woodpecker in Regina as you can up in Prince Albert. So the first one that we're going to look at is the little teeny tiny downy woodpecker, one of the smallest woodpeckers in North America. Then we're going to look at the northern flicker, which is sort of a medium-sized woodpecker. And then we're going to take a look at that big guy, the pileated woodpecker, which is one of the largest woodpeckers in North America. This is one of the smallest woodpeckers in North America. They're generally year-round residents here in Saskatchewan, all the way from the border with the U.S. all the way up into the far north of Saskatchewan. Um, it's a small black and white woodpecker, although males do have an amazing little splotch of red at the very back of their head. There is a similar, look, similar looking woodpecker called the hairy woodpecker. And one of the great ways to distinguish downy woodpeckers from hairy woodpeckers is that the beak on the downy woodpecker is about half the length of the width of the head. So you can see on this little guy, his beak is quite small compared to the length of its head. Downy woodpeckers have a stable population in much of North America, and they're the most likely bird that you'll probably get at your feeders. They really love suet and some other sort of sunflower uh, type seed um, feeders. This is one of my favorite woodpeckers. I had the good luck of conducting some research on northern flickers in central interior British Columbia. So they hold a special uh, place in my heart for them. So northern flickers are uh, a year-round resident in parts of Saskatchewan and only breed in other parts of Saskatchewan and then do a short, short migration. Northern flickers nest in cavities in old dead trees, sometimes called snags. Um, interesting thing about northern flickers though is that they do need some open areas like grasslands to find their main prey source, which are ants. Um, so if you see a northern flicker hopping around on the ground or near an ant pile, they're probably chowing down on their favorite, favorite food source. Now, this is a great example of a yellow shafted flicker. So you can see the under parts of its wing feathers are a really brilliant yellow. This is a male and we know that because he has a black mustache. But in Canada, we also have uh, something called the red shafted flicker, um, which has orangey red um, under its wings and the male will have a red mustache. And interestingly, just to make life a little bit more difficult, um, these two yellow shafted and red shafted flickers also hybridize together. And so you can really get some amazing birds with different color wings, a blend between orange and yellow, different color mustaches. Um, so they're a really, really interesting bird with lots of color variation. And the last species of woodpecker that we're going to cover is the biggest woodpecker that we have here in Saskatchewan. It's called the pileated or pileated woodpecker. Um, this is a year-round resident uh, throughout much of Saskatchewan. As you can tell, um, it's a really, really strikingly uh, beautiful bird. It's got that amazing red crest and, and red mustache. Um, to me, these are huge birds. They're about the size of crows. Um, and when you see them fly, there's really nothing mistaking a pileated woodpecker from anything else. Now, pileated woodpeckers' main food source are carpenter ants, and so you'll find them excavating really, really giant holes in the side of trees. And compared to the northern flicker or the downy woodpecker, which we talked about, these large holes that they're using to access their food um, are typically rectangular in shape. So if you're walking through the forest and you see a small rectangular shaped window carved out in the side of a tree, it's probably made by this particular woodpecker. The other interesting thing is because this woodpecker is so big, the trees that it nests in and the cavities that it makes are and can be used by a wide variety of other species. So things like large owls, ducks, um, swifts, 
and bats, and even things like pine martens can use cavities that were once nested in by pileated woodpeckers. So pileated woodpeckers are really, you know, sort of the engineer of the forest and their holes that they used for nesting can be used by a wide variety of other species out there. Hope you enjoyed our little tour of woodpeckers of Saskatchewan. They're really, really an amazing group of birds and we'll probably do another uh, Bird Mondays on some of the other woodpeckers that you can find in the province. Just remember that you can always contact me with any questions that you have about birds through the Royal Saskatchewan Museum website via the Ask a Curator site.